center air guides need to be modified for airflow. This is our center air guide and these are our end air guides. You can see the biggest difference is just these two pieces because they will go either side of a barrel. What Porsche found was that if we remove 25 millimeters from the end of our air guide it would increase the cooling effect on the cylinders. So to perform this modification what we're going to do is we're going to take our calipers and I'm going to open my caliper up and set it to 25 millimeters. Once I'm set to 25 millimeters, on this face right here is where we want to move, remove the material. I am going to use my caliper as a guide to scribing my line. The next measurement we need to make is from this bottom point right here up here. There are two separate measurements. If this modification is being performed on a naturally aspirated, so a non-turbocharged engine, the measuring height is going to be 19 millimeters. So I've just set my calipers to 19 millimeters and I'm just going to use the caliper to mark it right here. The difference would be if it was being used for a 911 turbo. The 911 turbos, the distance to measure up is going to be 10 millimeters, which is going to place that cutout pretty much right on this line right here. So once I've marked my height, I'm just going to bring my square in and carry this line down. Once I've got my marks, I'm going to take a good pair of tin snips. And we want to cut out this portion. So the next thing I'm going to do is I just want to clean this edge up. I'm going to use my file. And I just want to take any roughness out of it. Now ideally we should do this before any parts are sent to powder coat or paint. But if they have already been sent to paint like these ones have, and what I'm going to use, I could spray paint it again, or in this case, I'm just going to use some clear nail polish and I'm just going to coat down on these surfaces to prevent rust. By doing this modification, Porsche states that the cylinder temperatures will be reduced by approximately five and a half degrees Celsius to eight and a half degrees Celsius. Now this modification should be performed on all engines going back from 1977 back to 1965 models. Engines built in 1978 and on should already have engine tinware that is pre-built in this design. This modification will also have an effect on the head stud pulling. By lowering cylinder temperatures, it will decrease the amount of expansion in the cylinder, which will reduce some of the stress placed on the head studs and the head stud threads.